Hey guys, Nintendo Kid here with another review. Today I'm gonna show you Johnny Turbo's Arcade Sly Spy, a game that's based on the James Bond series and I have to say I am a James Bond buff. I have seen every single movie on VHS, on TV, I own everything on DVD collection, y yes, yes, still DVD, just DVD. I have seen every behind the scenes making of, I'm the biggest fan ever of the architect named Ken Adams who designed most of those sets back in the day and of course I bought his book, read it cover to cover and being an architect myself, I have nothing but respect for the guy, kudos. And when it comes to the line of video games based on James Bond series, I was raised with GoldenEye 64 on the Nintendo 64. I've picked up every single James Bond game ever released on any Nintendo platform since that title. Sly. Johnny Turbo's arcade Sly Spy is not James Bond, but he is as close as can be. Mr. Spy, Sly Spy, is the Americanized version of Mr. Bond, James Bond. Something that becomes all too apparent when you start the game and have to type in not your name, but a three digit code. Obviously I'm 007. At the time of this recording, I have played multiple Johnny Turbo's arcade games and I'll be sure to put our reviews for you guys for each and every single one because I am becoming a big, big fan of this series. Does that mean I'm not critical? Does that mean I'm becoming biased? No, not in the slightest. I want to highlight some of the good things in this game and also some of the things that I think should or could be improved upon. And right off the bat, I have to say that I am extremely impressed by this title. Visually, it's very impressive when it comes to the audio, when it comes to the sounds and the background music, it manages to impress me. When it comes to gameplay, it is extremely satisfying. And when it comes to storyline, I think it is what you can expect of that era. Sly Spy is an action platformer in which you have to move from left to right, as with most games. However, with this game, unlike many a game of that era, you can actually backtrack and there are some choices for you to make. You can choose your direction, it's not just a straightforward path that you have to follow. In the end, of course, there's only one true goal, but how you reach there is kind of up to you and that is really nice to see. Of course, as it is an arcade game, as it is a shooter, a lot of action can be expected. But what I didn't expect is the level of platforming in this game and there is quite some. If you have seen my review of Bad Dudes, there is less platforming in that game or the platforming doesn't feel that platform me, if you know what I mean. Sly Spy manages to improve upon that formula without sacrificing any of the action. Instead, I think there is more action. Sly Spy in that regard makes Bad Dudes look easier, while Bad Dudes is not an easy game in itself. And like Bad Dudes, Sly Spy comes with different stages and the stages are really distinguished from each other. For example, if you take the first stage, you come parachuting down and that is something that is a definite wink to the old James Bond series. And in the second scene, you find yourself riding a motorcycle, hunting down guys on other motorcycles, in cars, hanging from their jetpacks or parachutes. I mean, it is just a James Bond love fest. And I mean that in every possible way. The game doesn't feel like a James Bond ripoff. It rather feels like a tribute to the series. There are so many winks and so many almost direct links to James Bond that as a fan of the series, you cannot but love this little arcade hit. Now back to the variety of levels. This is something that is a definite pro for this game. You have of course the underwater level, something that is absolute James Bond style, where you have this harpoon gun, though admittedly, I feel that the hitbox of your character is rather too large, where you should be able to dodge a gun or harpoon every now and then, yet you get hit. And if you've got enough of swimming, you can grab yourself a DPV and propel your way forward through the level in that way. But there's just one thing that they seem to have forgotten about. You see, when you get hit and you lose some life, just like in Bad Dude, you can pop open a soda can and rejuvenate. However, James Bond doesn't drink soda. Guy drinks. What come out to Shaken, not stirred. And for you? The same. Perhaps this was intended. Maybe there was some sponsorship at the time of some soda can, though I think it is an oversight. 
but one thing that was a definite deviation from the James Bond series is its golden gun. You see, in Sly Spy, you have this range of weapons and all of them quite distinguishable James Bond weapons. Of course, starting out with your PP7 and you work your way all the way up till you finally reach your golden gun by filling up your meter. However, unlike the golden gun that we were so familiar with from Mr. Scaramanga that's basically a DIY kit, in Slice Spy, the golden gun has become somewhat of a golden rifle and it just spurts out bursts of fire. It's insane, but it's extremely cool and it's befitting this arcade game. I could go on and on about the James Bond references, wings and nudges, because the list is long. But for the James Bond lover out there, I am sure that I have already tickled your fancy and that you're willing to pick this game up. And for those who are still on the fence about it, without spoiling too much, let me just reveal one of the bosses in here. This guy is tough, I have died many a times at his hands, but I can't help but be a big fan of the guy. It's basically a remodeled version of Oddjob, the head throwing villain of the James Bond series and he is double tough. Now as for the graphical part of the game, it is really impressive as the colors seem to really pop out of the screen and that is even while playing with these older retro style filters as that is how I like to play my retro games. And when it comes to audio as I've already hinted at at the beginning, the sound effects are really cool and the music is so Bond like. All in all this game is such a love letter to the series that I feel that had this game been brought to the attention of Ian Fleming at the time, he would have signed off and put his mark on it. Point of critique though is that the controls overall work really fine, it's just that at some points I would wish it was more responsive, that you want to have this split second shift because this game is riddled with enemies. If you've seen the review of Bad Dudes and you see how many enemies I've beat up along the way, you'll be in for a surprise when you jump in this game as it is that much tougher. And of course, there are dogs again. Another nice feature about the game, apart from the visual styles that you can select, is the option of a save game state. And it is something that I think will go appreciated by a lot of people, because arcade games, especially of those years, are tough. And it can get frustrating if you keep dying over and over. And of course, you can pop in coins and you have these unlimited credits. So in that regard, I have some issue with how this credit system works in comparison to Bad Dudes in which in Bad Dudes you can pop in coins and you keep respawning on the fly almost. And while in Slice By, no matter how many coins you put in, once you die you get thrown into this missile screen and you have to get yourself back in the game. I can see why it was done as in Bad Dudes at times I was wondering where I was after I died and only after looking up at the top left corner did I see that I actually died, had to pop in a quarter and start again. In this game it makes it a little easier to see when you die. However, it somewhat breaks the flow of the game. So it's good to see that there is some experimentation with how this can be smoothed out perfectly, though in this case I don't think it was done successfully. But in the end it is a game that I am recommending to anyone and everyone out there. Not only for the James Bond fan, not only for the arcade fan, but for anyone looking out for a good action platformer that is challenging but not too long, that you don't have to invest too much time in, but that is always awesome to just pick up, play and blast your way through. Slice Pie is no slouch, it is definitely a game that should be played by you. So go on, head over to the eShop and grab yourself a copy. It is not something that you will regret anytime soon. And as always, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like the video, drop the thumb down but be sure to drop a comment in the section down below. I think that is by far more important that we have some discussion going on about these games. And if you want to see more reviews just like this one, or if you're interested into Switch gadgets and accessories, be sure to hit the subscribe button, as oh. I've got plenty of stuff for you guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.